my children, it's Mrs Collins again. I hope you're all okay and staying safe at home still. I thought I'd come today and share another story with you because um, I'm really enjoying talking to lots of you at the moment on the telephone, finding out about all the lovely things that you've been doing and the adventures that you've been having. And I can tell that you're all still really excited about learning, so that's excellent, well done. And I know that lots of you and all your grown-ups are saying that, that you're really enjoying listening to the stories that the teachers are posting for you. And I know that our year twos and some of our year one children have been reading their own stories and we've been sharing those. So well done to you. That's absolutely excellent. Okay, I'm so proud of you all at Moss Road. So today I've got another story for you and I don't think it's one that I've read to the children in nursery before, but I think you might like it. Because after it, I think if you have a really good look around your home, there might be some making and some doing that you could do at home, okay? Which will remind you of this story. So the story today is called Shark in the Park. And I just want my nursery children to listen to that carefully. Rub your ears, make them good listening ears. Okay, listen to these words. Shark, park. What do you notice? about those two words. Shark, park, they sound the same. They're rhyming words. And we were doing lots of rhyming in school, weren't we? So this is a rhyming story. Okay, so the title is Shark in the Park. And it was written by Nick Sharat. He is the author. He writes the story. And if I turn the story over, if I read this writing on the back, that's called the blurb. Okay, so are you listening? Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope, what can you see through your telescope? And there's Timothy Pope and he's got his telescope. Does anybody know what a telescope is? Let's see, look. We use a telescope for looking for things that are very, very far away. And if you use your hand like that, you can pretend that that is your telescope, okay? And when this story's finished, I bet if you ask your grown-ups, I bet there's lots of things around your house that you could make, use to make your own telescope and you could go out hunting, okay? So let's listen. <gasps> Down at the park, a little boy is testing out his brand new toy. There he is, look little boy with his brand new toy, his telescope. Look how busy the park is. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope is looking through his telescope. He looks up at the sky, help me. <gasps> he looks down at the ground. He looks left, he looks right, he looks all around. And this is what he sees. What a nasty surprise, in his loudest voice, Timothy cries. There's a shark in the park. Do you think it really is a shark? Let's have a look. Let's turn that page over. Meow. A shark? Fancy that. It's only a cat. Oh dear, there's the shark. It's not really, is it? It's a cat. But look, look at his body, look at his face. Which part of him do you think Timothy Pope thought was the shark? I think it might be his big pointy ears, maybe. <laughs> Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope, looks again through his telescope. And there's his telescope. Okay. He looks up at the sky. He looks down at the ground. He looks left. He looks right, he looks all around. And this is what he sees. What a terrible sight, Timothy yells with all his might. There's a shark in the park. There it is, look. I think it's a shark. A shark? Oh no, it's just a crow. Oh, and there's the crow. Look, this part of him here, his pointy wing. I think that's what Timothy thought was the shark. <laughs> Tricking him. <gasps> Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope has one more look through.
through his telescope. Are you ready? Help me. Okay. He looks up at the sky. He looks down at the ground. He looks left. He looks right. He looks all around. <gasps> and this is what he sees. Tim is in no doubt. What do you think he is about to shout? What do you think he's about to shout? Ready? There's a shark in the park. Do you think it is a shark? Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> no, a shark? No, it's not. And aren't you glad? As a matter of fact, it's Timothy's dad. And there's his dad look. And he's got big pointy hair at the front. And I think that's what Timothy thought was the shark. And in this speech bubble here, it says, it's time to go home, Timothy. So Timothy has to go home. And he didn't find a shark at the park. Timothy Pope says, it's safe to say there is no shark in the park today. <gasps> Are you sure about that? Have a look. What can you see? Well, I hope you like that story, children. I hope you enjoyed it. 